Now that your Arable Mark has arrived, take a few moments to acquaint yourself with the device and its accessories. Connect the Mark to an outlet using the provided power adapter for at least two hours to obtain a full charge. The device is solar powered, but it's a good idea to deploy at full capacity. You can check the battery level by briefly tapping the button on top of the device. Four lights will count up around the logo twice, then blink to show battery capacity. At over 75% of capacity, all four LEDs will illuminate in a circle. Before heading out into the fields, be sure to pack the following additional items. A vertical mounting post, any metal pole with an outside diameter of less than 1 and 3 8 inches and greater than half inch will suffice. We recommend using 3 4 inch conduit. The pole should be a minimum of 3 and a half feet taller than maximum expected crop height. Taller is okay. A sledgehammer to set the post. You may also want to bring a clean cloth and a ladder that can easily clear the top of your pole. Carefully planning the device's placement will ensure the data obtained is of the highest quality. First, the mark should be placed in a location that best represents crop conditions. The mark's underside has a few lenses that should be directly above your crop and not pointing at the road or the furrows running between crops. Be attentive to local surroundings such as tall trees that may cast shadows. These can affect the data collected from the lenses and reduce charging potential. Secondly, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, the Arable A logo should be pointed northerly as long as the lenses on the bottom of the device can remain directly over the crop. Finally, the device should be placed in a location with good cellular service. If that is not a possibility, please contact Arable to review other options for data communications. The mark's height should be decided based on the crop you are monitoring. We recommend placing it three feet higher than maximum expected crop height. Drive the post firmly into the ground so that it's roughly level and will not slip in time. Next, place the vertical mount on the pole. The knob on the mount should be pointed east, positioning of the lenses over the crop permits it. On the bottom of the device is an alignment tick. Align this tick with the button on the vertical mount and twist counterclockwise until you hear a click. Lights on the device will start blinking to indicate that the deployment sequence has initiated. The initiation sequence boosts the system, runs two sensor tests, and connects to the server. This may take several minutes. Please stay with the device. When the sequence is finished, all four lights around the Arable logo should shine solid blue and blink in unison a few times. If any of the lights in the system check, show red or shut off and don't respond to a quick tap of the button. Disconnect the device from the mount, recheck the battery by tapping the button on the top, then try to deploy the device again by connecting the mount to the device. If after a couple tries this does not seem to work, use a paper clip to push the reset button on the bottom of the device. Wait one minute, then try again by reconnecting the device to its mount. If you redeploy and the light to the right of the Arable A logo is still red, Mark has failed to reach a server. You may want to try deploying in an area with better cellular service. If any other lights are red, there's a problem with your device. Please write down which light turned red and contact Arable. If all lights have turned blue, the deployment sequence is now complete. The final step is to check the level and orientation of the device. Press and hold down the button for a few seconds until all lights blink blue twice and the mark will go into leveling mode. The mark knows when it is level, but needs your help getting there. If the device is not perfectly level, only two or three LEDs will illuminate. The LED that does not illuminate is the low side. Gently push the device away from the low side until that LED illuminates. A different LED may go dark. Repeat the process until all four LEDs are illuminated. Once you are successful, all four lights will be illuminated and you may tap the button to go to the next step. Devices need to be approximately level to ensure accurate readings. Now, the mark will go into orientation mode. For consistency across multiple installations, we generally recommend pointing the A north. If the device cannot be pointed north while the lower lenses are positioned over the crop, please ignore the orientation step. It is of higher importance that the lenses be over the crop. In orientation mode, the light on top of the Arable A logo will start blinking. Mark wants the A to point north. Once it's perfectly aligned, the light will turn solid. Your Arable Mark is now all set up. Wipe the surface of any mud or debris that may be covering the clear dome. You are now ready to log on to the Arable app to gain insights on your location.